Well, I hope you're having a wonderful Tuesday. We've got a chilly to cold night tonight, especially across northern areas, the Cumberland Plateau, northern counties in East Tennessee, upper East Tennessee counties, as well as the mountains and foothills. A freeze warning for the mountains and foothills, southwest Virginia, also Hancock and Hawkins counties, as well as much of southeast Kentucky. Cold temperatures in the freeze warning area where the count, uh, county shaded in dark blue, purple here. And so low 30s expected, maybe just below freezing. In the lighter blue counties, this is a frost advisory from the Plateau those northern counties. This does include a uh, severe cock green, also Jefferson, Hamblin, Granger counties, as well as uh, Union, Claiborne and Campbell counties and the four plateau counties in East Tennessee. As you know, Scott, Morgan, Fentress and Cumberland counties does not include Knoxville, Oak Ridge, any of the rest of the central or southern valley. It's going to be a chilly night with lows in the upper 30s tonight projected from Knoxville to Oak Ridge, closer to freezing near Crossville to Huntsville, Oneida, Jamestown and maybe near Wartburg. And there's those near and below freezing temperatures in the freeze warning area, Kentucky, Virginia. So basically uh, the northern counties closer to the Tennessee, Kentucky, Virginia state line. That's where the coldest temperatures are expected wrapping around into the mountains. Again, the central and southern valley generally those upper to maybe mid 30s, but maybe some patchy frost and outline areas, but the better chances for frost and freeze as we showed you in the frost and freeze areas generally to the north. Now tonight partly cloudy tomorrow for our Wednesday we will have mostly to variably cloudy skies. Enough moisture in the mid levels with the weak disturbance may give us a little bit of patchy light and rain sprinkles. Actually, it's another system though with dry air at the surface not expecting a whole lot, mainly cloud cover. Matter of fact, if any of that moisture is generated in the mid levels and tries to fall to the surface, a lot of that's probably going to evaporate. We call that virga and evaporation is a cooling process. So with clouds, that's going to keep us pretty cool to chilly uh, tomorrow. We start out in the upper 30s and we may only stay uh, in the upper 40s to near 50 degrees for a high. So a cool day for your Wednesday and again Thursday. Cool to chilly, shall we say, as again the clouds will keep us cooler. Again, there's some of that weak moisture, maybe some patchy light rain passing through. Thursday's looking drier and drier. Yesterday, it looked like at one point that was going to be our better chance for any scatter light showers, although models have been trending further south. I get their updating now, but uh, it looks like we'll have generally dry conditions most of Thursday into Friday. Cool temperatures, gradual warm up into the weekend. And with that, here's your forecast tonight. Partly cloudy, a chilly night, 38 degrees. So dress warmly in the morning and it will be staying cool for your Wednesday. Again, variably cloudy, maybe a little bit of patchy light rain sprinkles. Again, not expecting a whole lot. Otherwise, uh, clouds, maybe a little sun, 50 degrees tomorrow. The main story, a very cool to chilly air remaining in place the next several days. Near 50 again Thursday, mainly dry. Friday looks like it'll be a little bit warmer, but notice Friday morning and again Saturday morning, mid 30s. We have a better chance for frost here in the valley in Knoxville. Let's just say Thursday night and again Friday night and the respective mornings. So Friday and Saturday morning. Uh, the warm up continues into the time change weekend. We set our clocks back one hour. We gain an hour. Yeah, this weekend, it's the time change Saturday night before going to bed. Set those clocks back one hour. We're back in the 60s early next week.